What's up guys, Suffer here, and we are going to be watching a video on what appears to seem the person named Mumbo Jumbo. Now, I've never watched this guy's channel, I mean, I just subscribed. I mean, I can't click the bell. Let me click the bell! Ugh. Why do I, why do I have my not? I don't know why, wait, why are my notifications off? Okay, let's just get right into this video. Hold on, hold on. So, Mumbo Jumbo, if subscribe to him, he plays Minecraft. I'm being awkward. Let's just get into the video. <laughs> Redstone lighting is one of those things that you can use to really make a build come alive. You just flick a switch and then suddenly everything switches on and everything is looking amazing. And generally speaking, people use a system that looks a little bit like this. You've got a lever running into some redstone dust and then you run that into our redstone lamps. There we go. Job done. That's the system completed. Chuck it in the ceiling or the floor and that's everything finished. But what if you want something a little bit more fancy? Well, thankfully, we've got this system right here. Now, as you can see... It is extremely simple. We have three blocks, two bits of redstone dust, three redstone torches, and then two regular pistons facing into one another with a sticky piston in the middle. And when we hit this button right here, you can see that that block is traded out and we get ourselves a piece of glowstone. So this is essentially like a hidden lighting system. When we hit this button and replace it with a piece of concrete, you can see that we have ourselves a completely flush ceiling. You would never know that there was a redstone contraption up there. But all you have to do is wire this into some form of a button on your wall. You hit that button and everything drops down and you have yourself a fully lit room. Yeah, that's cool. Now that's a pretty good place to start. But why stop there? Guys, why, what do you think of those other two? I mean, I think those are cool. First one is kind of basic, you know. I think I, I, I use that one. I use that one actually, to be honest. Except, like, in a different form. Um, the second one, I think that was actually pretty cool. I think I'll have to use that. Okay. You've already got lights in the ceiling. You might as well have some lights down in the floor as well. So this is the floor block swapper. And as you can see, it's a tiny bit more complicated than the other one involving two redstone repeaters. Two bits of redstone dust and three redstone torches. One in the center and then two redstone torches under each one. Mumbo. It's barely even complicated. It's practically like the same thing. I don't know. It does. It barely looks difficult for all for all y'all people who don't who don't redstone who don't do redstone. Well, I'm sorry. Not of our regular piston, but it works exactly the same. If we hit this button, you can see everything gets retracted, and then everything re-extends. There's our block, and there is our glowstone. Now the best thing about these systems is, is, of course, you don't have to use glowstone in them if you don't want to. You can test them out with different forms of lights, or of course, throw a crafting bench in there. And there you go, hidden crafting bench. I was going to move on from these sorts of systems, but I know for a fact that the comment section. I'm pretty sure this is supposed. I'm pretty sure this is like the same thing as the ceiling light and the well, the secret hidden ceiling light and the secret hidden floor light, except it's in the wall. That's awesome. Who, did, who wouldn't like that? To be honest, I kind of like the floor one, because you can just use a crafting table. Secret hidden crafting table in my Minecraft world. Yes! We filled with people saying, I want to have lights in my walls. Why didn't you mention this? So here we go. This is the system that I've developed. Once again, it looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? I mean, it's exactly the same as the previous one. We have got two repeaters set to one tick. We've also got a redstone torch in the center, our redstone dust, and then our two redstone torches under each one of our regular pistons, the sticky piston in the center. And there we go. There is the swapping, and there is the swapping back. These things are awesome. I absolutely love these things. But what if you're a little bit rich, and you want to have a large number of these? Perhaps you want to light an entire room with them, and you don't want to bother building each and every block swapper every single time that you want to do it. Then I would suggest you create this little timing circuit right here, which can just be run it into all of the pistons, and they will all work perfectly. We flick the lever and you can see all of the blocks are swapped, and we flick the lever once again, and all of the blocks are swapped again. And I have to say, when they're in sequence like this, with all of the repeaters underneath, one tick delay between each swapping, it looks amazing. I mean, can you imagine how cool like, a hallway would be with this system right here? Definitely gonna have to build this on the Hermitcraft server, but first, 
I think I should probably show you how to build. To build a circuit, you want to get things started with a 4x5 area, and the first thing that we're going to do is create this sort of V formation right here. Now, that block right there is going to be your input, so you can run a, a repeater into that one, or for example, just place in a lever. We're going to run redstone up like this, and place in a redstone torch on this side with redstone on that side as well. Then you want to place two blocks in like this, a repeater set to four ticks, and a repeater set to four ticks with a sticky piston facing upwards and a block on his face, then another sticky piston facing upwards with a block on his face, two blocks on either side, and then a repeater set to two ticks on both of those sides. So those two circuits are going to control our side pistons, like the, the pusher pistons. But then we're just going to grab ourselves an observer, and that's going to be facing across in this direction right here. And we're going to have a dropper facing upwards with a hopper running back down into it. We're going to take a comparator output from this dropper right here. We're going to place any old item on the inside of that dropper. And that is the entire system completed. So now all we have to do is run them into all of our pistons. So this right here is going to be our upwards facing sticky piston, which we're going to place on this block. And this right here is going to be our regular piston. And this one is going to be a regular piston as well. And then we're going to have two blocks in the system. When we flick this lever, we should see that we get the swapping and the swapping. Lovely. And now, now I just, I want to show off a little bit. This is show off. You know what? This is a redstone circuit that I designed a little while ago. And as you can see, we flick the lever and it drops down a redstone chandelier. So this is for those of you who redstone lamps, they're boring. Mumbo Jumbo, correction, glowstone. Okay, they're for boring people. Typo person. Not typo, but whatever, I, I can't. And block swappers, I mean, they're okay, but they're not particularly exciting. You want something totally daft, and considering this is extending just one piece of glowstone, I would say, yeah, this is pretty daft. You flick the lever, and everything gets retracted away, and you can see we have got a ton of piston action going on. This is what's known as a hybrid double piston extender. So we actually retract the double piston extender out of the way so that we can transfer and move the blocks around. And that circuit adds up to actually quite a lot. Guys, if you're building this stuff in Minecraft and you want to show off to your friends, I think this is perfect. But if you're just building like a regular, regular light system, I suggest not building this. It's too complicated. Much quantity of redstone, but if you do want to build this thing, I'll put a link to that video down in the description. Would highly suggest checking it out. Block swappers are super boring now. We have gone through a bunch of them, and we're going to try our best to move on with some flames. Now, believe it or not, this is actually a redstone circuit. I don't know, man. I think I might need to do like a three-part tutorial on this one. One for the dispenser, one for the redstone torch, and one for the piston. But if we flick this lever right here, you can see we get fire. This is a fire lighting system. So there are our flames, and then when we flick the lever once again, the fire is put out. I mean, how simple is that? Fire on. Fire off. Fire on. <laughs> fire off. I love it. And the good news is, is that you can connect up these things using repeaters oh, between yes. each of the dispensers, and then if we just Guys, throw in some blocks like this, this, we actually get ourselves a pretty cool looking fire lighting system. So we flick the lever, and that should switch on the entire system, and Jesus we flick the lever again, and that shuts off the entire system. Probably one of the simplest redstone circuits, but definitely I one of it. my favourites. Have you ever wanted to power one redstone lamp, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one, in quick succession so that it looks really cool? You probably have, because let's face it, it does, it looks really, really cool. But the issue is, is that obviously if you do something a little bit like this, so we've got redstone, then a repeater, two ticks, three ticks, then four ticks. When we get to this stage, you kind of have a choice. Either give up on the whole idea, or start doing something a little bit like this. But obviously, if you have, say for example, 100 redstone lamps going down the line, that's going to get very expensive because the 100th redstone lamp is going to have a lot of repeaters running into it. So instead, we need to come up with a bit of a redstone circuit. Now this, this is perfectly fine. This is a really good start. We're going to take out this redstone and place two blocks up like this. Then we're going to place in a repeater set to four ticks and then a repeater set to one tick running into this block right here. Then we're going to run a redstone dust across like this. We're going to have a block up like that. Then we're going to have redstone and then our repeater and then our repeater sets two ticks, repeater sets three ticks, and then our repeater sets four ticks. 
And unfortunately, we're going to have to start the same thing again. So that's redstone going up like this. And then you guys get the idea. The four ticks and then the one tick. That runs out into this block right here. And then our redstone dust. Block up like that to stop these two pieces canoodling. And then we have ourselves redstone. And then our first repeater. And if we flick this lever on over here. We get ourselves one awesome looking... Your father and I are looking for a new car. You're going to need a guru. You can't own the deal until you own you. Skip out. That line of redstone. Now, of course, if you really wanted to, you could turn this into a disco lighting system. So the way that you do that is by running the entire thing into some form of redstone clock. Now, you will notice that if you do a hover clock like this, you get this sort of situation happening right here. Doesn't look particularly brilliant. Instead, what you're going to have to do is create at least a four hopper hopper clock. And that works like a charm. <laughs> I mean, look how good that looks. That is awesome. I can just, I can feel the disco groove coming to me already. I'm dancing. I'm very happy you guys it. can't see it. But, as the phrase goes, why stop there? So, this is one of my favourite redstone circuits. You guys will recognise it. It's my baby block swapper. It does work with glowstone. But often, I use it with crafting benches to create hidden crafting bench systems. Now, this works wonderfully. But, the only issue is is the input is in the side. So I wanted to create a system where the input was out the back. Seems simple, doesn't it? Just a, an input right about there. Well, after a lot of redstone design work, I've ended up with this system right here. Works in exactly the same way. It is a tiny bit more expensive. We've got one redstone torch, two repeaters. We've got three sticky pistons and a redstone block. Oh. Involved. But the idea is... If I pause, you can see, like, the, the last one, like, right in the background, right there. Is, is this system is now tileable, meaning that you can hook it up to something like this. So let's give this thing its first test. We flick this lever right here, and we should see one line of glowstone oh, blocks. We flick the lever again, and we get oh. ourselves a line of regular blocks. This thing functions. It looks awesome. I'm really, really happy with it. Of course, if you do want to build it, then this is the module that you need to construct, and then you just hook it in to this redstone line right here. And if you're wondering why this thing has been designed the way that it is, and the reason that it was so I am speechless at this stuff. This guy's a pro! Redstoner, my god. Tricky to design is because you need to make sure that these modules don't interact with one another. You're not allowed to place blocks on top of pistons. You're not allowed to place redstone torches on top of blocks that are next to pistons because then you'll get bud powering going on. So say for example we have like this line of blocks right here. That looks fine, doesn't it? But if we flick this lever, yeah, it's not fine. <laughs> it totally breaks the entire system and that has caused me many headaches. But this thing functions and I'm very, very happy with it. So there we go, guys. Hopefully I have given you a decent number of awesome redstone lighting systems. You should be able to light your base up in a really cool way now. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later. Guys, 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 guys. Oh, but this is just my video. Leave my videos alone. Guys. Bye. Ways to protect your items in Minecraft. Mumbo, I'm sorry we're gonna have to wait this one because uh, making the silliest anti cannons in Minecraft. Guys, I got, I gotta go. Like, no, I to wait for the next video, which might be here in just a few seconds. I don't want to see this video, Mumbo Joe. Anyways, guys, bye! See you in the next video. Suffer out.